Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's not safe is being Project Neighbor. I mean, the bumper's destroyed. The engine, destroyed. Doing a burnout with no oil pressure is not safe. But you know what is safe? Simply safe. And today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. All right, Simply Safe has some brand new upgrades like this smart alarm indoor camera. This is the only indoor camera that can instantly trigger your alarm and deter intruders with a built in siren and live two way audio. Which brings me to my next subject that Simply Safe is launching their new 24 7 live guard protection. This includes faster police response, immediate intruder deterrence, and it helps stop crime in real time because Simply Safe's professional monitoring agents can get on this camera and talk to intruders that may be in your house and say, hey brother, get the hell out of here. I like Simply Safe because they send the product to your door, you install it yourself, which is very easy. No waiting on a technician to come between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And it costs less than $1 a day. And guys, you should try out Simply Safe today because they are offering you guys 20% off on your security system when you sign up for their Fast Protect plan and your first month free. All you gotta do is visit simplysafe.com slash Cletus to customize your security system for your house or business. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Check out the link in the description below. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. All right, gentlemen, got a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah? A little spicy unit alert here. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> oh. This is Derek from Ice Grip Garages. This is his giveaway vehicle for this month. He's going to give this away? Race car, yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's a full blown cool. race car. Daryl Waltrip. <laughs> So he's giving this oh, away. Yeah. If you buy any t-shirts off of vicegripgarage.com, every $5 you spend gets you a chance to win this. And it ends at the end of the month. So there's oh, what, a week left? A week? Yeah. Not even a couple days. So we get a couple days to mess with it. Okay. Holy I know. Crap. <laughs> what? Look inside how clean it is. It is definitely nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that, dude. Frick. Got some dim shine in there. Wow, it is super clean in here. Holy crap. Fire this is, up. This is a nice car right here. Fire it up Not real to be quick. Confused with an ass car. This is a nice car. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. That's got a sniper on it. With fuel flow. Ain't no carburetor on this, old son. What we got under here? Oh, frick, dude. Buick, buddy. Fix that up. That's a big old sticker. 
Okay, can you, can yep. you, I mean, that's a sticker, so you gotta be careful. I mean, why, why am I telling you? We'll take you some photos of it right now, what it looks like right now, and then let me start. You got a big NASCAR and an oval track, and you just drove in a straight line. I know, I know, we gotta get shot. I was not going in a straight line first. <laughs> we were, we we were fishtailing. <laughs> How much tire we got left? Do we got some for the Freedom Factory? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, these might be a little dated. That one, she's an open bag. Dude, I wish we would have seen this before Derek decided to give it away. This is could have got it. This could this, this could have been your all-time uh, pace car right here. Perfect car. Maybe I'll win it. It's time for some redemption. Redemption, baby. The other day you ran your best pass ever. Yep. Which was a uh, eight seventy-nine. Eight seventy-eight. But then you followed it up with a sick launch. But it had to let off early because the car shut off. Yep. Turns out we lost the alternator belt on that run and the car didn't have enough power to make it the rest of the way. But now we're dialed back in, hoping to go a full pass on that same tune right off the rip. Going nice and fast, new PB. We still have no alternator belt. Yeah, but we're, we have the battery charged now, so we yeah. should be good. I mean, all kinds of cars that we have go down the track on one exactly. battery run, you know? And then we got Sam's truck to charge up the blazer when he gets back. So we're feeling pretty optimal. <laughs> feeling yeah, optimized. Battery, so yeah. Oh, Georgie, pulling up. Let's see if we get a successful run out of the blazer. All right, all right. Come on. Eight eighty one at one fifty. I was one fifty one. Whew! One thirty five to the sixty foot. Five sixty two at one twenty three. So it picked up to the eighth mile over. Oh, eight eighty one. Yeah, eight eighty one at one eighty. Dude, that's pretty solid for that sucker. That's all not right. a bad pass for the heat. Contract. Yeah, hot no. heat of the day. Yeah, we'll uh, not bad at all. We'll take a gander of that old yeah. data log. Just maybe rolls some time in and up top. Let her chooch out the back. Yeah, bat. you see that stretched out wheelie? Oh, that's good. Not so, a little different than mine. Mine was like a. <laughs> that one was like a... Need a little bit more horsepower. That's what you want to do, right? Yeah, if you can stretch them out, you know, it's good. You don't want to do them all at once. Hey, not bad, bud. Oh, not bad. Take a, take a slip. <laughs> Ooh, 881. First rip, brother. Nice. It's hot. It's spicy. Yeah. That's nice. the same tune that went... 562 well, today. Yeah, that's actually fast. I think that's your best eighth mile right there. Or well, close. 550, but not on a full rip. 550 flat. 554, I think. Yeah, so, well, okay. That's We're getting good. there, though. We're getting there. For the heat, though? So we need to get some of that eighth mile back. All right, guys, we got Adam LZ over there. See? See him? We got him, him right over there? here from Orlando. And uh, we got McFlurry out because we're going to let him make a hit in old McFlurry. You know, he's a great drift driver, but that boy ain't been fast down the drag strip yet. So I think he's been like a 990 something. So we got McFlurry just on Wastegate, which I think is mid eights. You know, kind of like when Zach and Ty drove it, so we're not going crazy, but I'm gonna make sure everything's good and then we'll let him jump in and pull some levers, brother. <laughs> hey, Mick Flurry up here, Cleeter doing a little test rip. Man, that thing works good. Is it right to left or left to right? It's first, last. All right. Clean run. 878 at 147 mile an hour. One twenty three sixty foot five fifty four one nineteen eight seventy eight at one forty seven on wastegate. Not now too if it shabby. goes one more click, it'll have the boost added on the brake to yeah. make it leave harder and get that one twenty flat one nineteen sixty foot, which then will go like the eight fifty eight forty pass. But hey, 
Can't complain about it. 878 at 147 on the waste gate. That's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, Georgie. There we go. That was perfect. Come on, dude. Better than the last pass. Now let me put a little more back in it. Keep reeling her in. All right, we're it's getting, getting there. them higher and the farther, but it's yeah. not. It's not out of control. I yet. want to 860. You know, it's not out of control yet. So just keep reeling her back in. All right. Nice little 878. <laughs> Dude, come on. Can we get an 860? Dude. I'm putting some sauce in the tune up. Wow, it felt way faster. It looks really good, but I don't know if you were in a little deep. Maybe we didn't get a slip, so I think the 60 foot might have slowed down a smidge. We're gonna give her a little more on this one. Let her just chooch on out there. Dude, it felt great. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. What was the mile an hour? 151. Yang yang yang! Oh my gosh, I do not fit. Alright. You can angle the seat back a little more. Oh, I can? Yeah, that helps. Just on this, this guy right here. Oh, <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah. Holy clutch! Alright, we got Cleeter up here in the old Dorito Dotson. Adam LZ's Ripper. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look how big he is in there. <laughs> looks like a toy car. He looks like a toy. <laughs> my career. Oh, you just didn't dude. lock it. You dude. didn't lock it. You adjusted <laughs> it for me, dude. It's not it's not that bad All right, back her up, dude. I'm running it back. Put him right in the back. <laughs> maybe it's good right there. Yeah, maybe you just have too far back. Oh, I broke the teeth off. Look. Oh. All right, I'll go up. Yeah. Let's get down that way. Lean forward, bud. Hold yeah, on to the yeah. steering wheel. Hold That's yourself fast. up with your left hand. Dude, I don't know if I can survive another one of those. <laughs> Dude, you know that had to be the scariest feeling. <laughs>
I seen you holding yourself. And then, like, up. maybe 800 feet, it just shut off. My phone was to the floor, and it just turned off. Really? So I went through the traps, floored, but the engine was not running. Like maybe. I wonder if the throttle popped out again. No, no, it's good now. Really? Oh yeah, it, uh, it has an overmatch. He doesn't know what V8 power feels like anymore. <laughs> Been driving that catfish with a six <laughs> this, dude. This ain't no chip. Chip will come out here. Oh, he's got chip, <laughs> that's true. Hey, we got Cooper Baghetti out here in McFlurry. About to make a ripsky doodle. <laughs> I met the guy. I mean, he comes out of the burnout box a little sideways every time. Every know? time, dude. Like a little spaghetti noodle. <laughs> a little spaghetti noodle, dude. Oh, yeah. Nine, Nine oh, oh, at 143. <laughs> pretty good for never driving anything even remotely like this but I definitely um I short shifted a little bit and I I also I did both I short shifted and I like I think I ran out one gear too much and short shifted another I don't know yeah and I know cool that's kind of what it felt like solid yeah yeah it's uh, it's no 2J. You can't rev her that high, brother. Yeah. Did it feel like it was laying over? A little bit up top. Yeah, yeah. that's because she's like Godzilla motor holding on for dear life past 7,000 RPM. <laughs> well, but now I, that I think like a, about it. I don't think I hit a limiter or anything. Yeah, we don't have one of those. Yeah, I was like, But oh. I didn't tell you about the rev limiter. I didn't tell you to shift theirs. I probably should have informed you that before the run. I was like, it feels like I'm, I should be shifting, but like, I don't feel like I'm getting close to like when the car is telling me to shift, you know, you kind of have to feel yeah, it Yeah, you just short shift this unit. But hey, you did good. You made it down through it. Pulled the chute even. Yeah, I like pulling chutes. Good to exercise that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just used to it, you know? Oh, the leverage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. This thing seems the to overalls. Size, huh? Don't know if he knows how to go in a straight line, but we'll find out. <laughs> Damn, the sucker's loose on him, dude. Look at the butt part. Holy. <laughs> it's like a whole couple inches <laughs> extra. That tight on me, dude. <laughs> A lot of hips. <laughs> Where's these go? Oh, those just stay there. Damn, they made it look so baggy. Yeah, dude. All them chocolate chip cookies. Right, top, top bulb, like the bottom bulb, pull this foot to the floor. Make sure you're floored. You're gonna go, bow. It's gonna go, ah. Right when you just hear the RPM rising at all, just shift it. So grab the outside one and yank it. That's in gear. Alright boys, Adam LZ about to do a burnout in the McFlurry and make a rip! Still in 887. <laughs> Golly. Oh, man. 880. Really surprising. Yeah. I don't know how he pulled that off. It's the fastest he's ever gone, so. <laughs> you know, I just wanted it to be a clean run for the guy. Yeah. He corrected it very. If it was yeah. The wheel spin it started to have, he corrected it really soon yeah, and it hooked right everything. back up and this kept going. So, so much it's crap going pretty good. On.
there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So I wish I thought, we had Ruby. I thought I missed one of the, the gears because I saw this one still forward. So I was like, oh crap, I forgot to pull that one back. <laughs> but I think I just short shifted too much. No, I mean, you actually did good, all things considered. You let out and still went an 887. Oh, I did better than Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all I wanted to do. Dude, I don't know how you went that fast letting off. I did a one three sixty foot. Did it spin a little bit? I it got... did, yeah. You let out right at the spin, which yeah, is actually right good. Might be my bad. Dude, hey, ow. a little too much. I extended the shift a tenth of a second. No, that's what did it. It's got to get in a high gear sooner. It's got such a short first gear ratio. Not ideal. Hey, you're good. You're not leaking. Why can we only get to 878? And then this happens. Well, I mean, it's not leaking. It's not leaking, it still steers, so. Yeah, that's my bad, dude. That one ain't on you. <laughs> I'm like, all right, we got a little greedy with that one. You saw me change the tune, though. I did a tenth yeah. of a second. Well, we'll take her back it's to the so track. Too, take her back to the shop and get her on the lift. <laughs> Freaking 878! <laughs> <laughs> we'll never beat 878. Golly.